It's a lie. What's up guys, Matt here with Matka Metalworks and we finally picked up our JD Squared 5x10 Mad Table. Wanted to show you guys what it takes to get that up and running. So I uh, made a little video here. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. We greatly appreciate it. We're getting some uh, awesome feedback, some good comments. And uh, so like, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We could just leave it like this and tell everybody we bought a spaceship. <laughs> Starship Enterprise. What show was that? It's not Star Wars, is it? It's uh, Star Trek. Star Trek, that's it. So on the Hypertherm 85 model, not exactly sure if it's the same on the other models, but it comes pre-wired to run on three phase. So what I had to do, you saw I took the cover off, very simple to do, just some, uh, some screws and take this plastic shield off. I think it's just basically a dust cover. You have three wires, a black, white, and a red. I think you can pretty much disconnect any of those because with three phase, you have three wires and a ground. And in single phase 220, you have black, white, and a ground you just have three wires so disconnect one of those i actually snipped it taped it and put everything back on put the cover back on and you're good to go to run on single phase 220. so once you've got the uh interior wires connected and the correct 
uh, voltage, whether you're running three phase or single phase. Uh, once you get the cover put back on, then you've got to wire the plug. It does not come pre-wired with a plug on it because they don't know if you're going to be single phase or three phase. So go to your hardware store and get that. Uh, if you're doing three phase, you're probably not going to find that at a Home Depot or a Lowe's. You'll have to go to electrical supply. But uh, this is a simple 50 amp plug. This 85 does call for a 60 amp breaker, which we have that on, but they don't sell the uh, 60 amp plug. So we're just using a 50 amp, which will, which will be fine for this. And uh, get that wired up and you'll be ready to plug it in and get some power. So the table is pretty much, other than three ball valves that go in your pan, um, so you can drain the water, clean it, whatever. Right now, they just they comes from the factory with uh, just some um, caps, and so we have to get three of those. We've got to get a drop cord to plug in our um, PC. And the monitor and then we've also got to order they they send you and i think it's mostly just because of weight they don't send you all of your slats so you have to buy some slats which is not a big deal it's just a flat bar and you'll end up having to replace some anyway down the road because they get uh they get damaged from use but they send you about Maybe 10 or so, something like that. We'll just grab these and take them out and go ahead and put them in the pan. And we got to get some more material. I think it's three inches. I have got a power cord, some three quarter inch nipples, and a um, three quarter inch ball valve. I've got three of those. There's three sections in this uh, water table. And we'll put those on in just a minute, get some Teflon tape. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put this on. You'll see we've got slats in here. The table comes with 10 of these slats. They're three by one eight, as I said earlier. And I just happened to have some of that material on the rack and I cut some. I was trying to see what the least amount I could get away with because this material comes in 20 foot lengths. And if you cut 62 inch pieces, which that's what's required, um that leaves you a massive amount of drop and i don't want to weld them together and do all that stuff so uh, i was trying to see if i could get away with a 60 so this one here and that one i cut two or three of them 60 inches because 60 inches i could get four out of a uh 20 foot stick and unfortunately they work i could get by with them but the problem is just a little bit and they're, they're falling out. It's they're just barely in the end. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet and just say the heck with it and get uh, enough to cut 62 inch pieces. And I've gotta have like 70 of them, I think, or something. It's, it's crazy, it's a lot. Um, so there's probably like a total of 80 because if I gotta get 70, I think that comes with 10. I haven't counted, but I think it comes with 10. And um, so we'll get that done, should have that tomorrow. Get all these put in level all that up the table's been leveled a little bit i'm gonna check it again tomorrow and get these level the slats it's got little cast um uh, i can't remember what you call these things but it's got little um like caster things you can turn to level these uh frames up that hold your slats and uh, that way you can get everything perfectly level and it's very important to do that because the system is based off of everything being level uh, it cuts better the quality as far as the torch height control, make sure everything's perfectly level. That's a big thing about uh, plasma tables. So I've got a drop cord here. I got two plugs, one from the actual um, PC and then one from the monitor. We'll get those plugged up and I'll power that up. This comes with a uh, sheet cam, which is gonna be a, a learning experience for me because I've never used it. Um, still gonna use, to start with, my torch mate CAD. Uh, off our old torch mate table we had we'll use that for the time being and then we send it over to sheet cam as a dxf out of the torch mate and that's what makes it what are you eating that's what converts it to the uh, converts it over to the, for the g-code 
so it knows what to cut and then you just load it up in your your cut software for the the mad table so um just a little learning curve but i've got a couple jobs this week i've got to get out really quick so uh, i don't have time to, to learn and mess with it so i'm gonna have to get on top of it and um i hope this is long enough get those get those going so i can get that cut Inch. screw plugs put those in there and that's what they water test everything from the factory to make sure it doesn't leak and all their welds are good and they just leave them in there so take those out but we can we can use them for something and then we'll put these uh we'll screw these the reason i'm putting these on is uh a because it's a a female here that i've got to go into and then these are actually female, so I'll take this male adapter, extension, whatever you want to call it, nipple, that's what I always call it, and I'll put that on and screw it up in the bottom of the tank, and that way you've got room to, uh, plenty of room to turn your quarter turn valve on and off. Let's see if we have some power. Aha, uh -huh, sick it now. Get some power. I see some nuts. And here a fan. Scout. Can I help you? You want to see the power too? Alright, let's see what we got up here. My faith, faithful sidekick. Partner, assistant, whatever you want to call it. So that should be on. That means I should be able to get on the MAD software here. So it's a little bit dark under here and I don't have a good light. So I'm just using my phone. But you see I've got the piece, the nipple and the ball valve here. And this is your drain. This is, uh, you've got three of these. I'm just gonna thread this up into here. 